Вот от Хаммерса привелет. Поляну выкосила. Выжгла все полностью. Вот тут пацаны погибли. Наши. Смотри, вот кучность какая, смотри. Смотри, пам-пам-пам-пам-пам-пам-пам наложила. Вот два харма. Харма. Пролетела и глубина метра. Ты метра три, наверное, глубина, короче. Вот так не видно. Вот лазик, короче, который был. Вот осколки. Его. Вот что с ним стало. Пацанов, вывезли бы МП, увезли. Вот здесь деревья кругом были. Пустая поля, он пеньки срезал все деревья. Полностью. Листва сухая уже. А тут пацаны сидели. Давало всех. Драники. Все, что осталось. Это стреляет Хаймерс. Pure Terror. World leaders, diplomats, reaction on Russia's latest attack on Ukraine. On the 8th of July, Russia carried out a massive missile strike on Ukraine, including in the capital, Kiev, which Western diplomats and officials have labeled as pure terror, reflecting Russia's genuine goals in the war. Head of the President's office, Andriy Yermak, said that Russian invaders killed 36 people and injured 140. The Austrian ambassador, Arad Benko, called the attack pure terror from Russia, which has showed the real objectives of its ruler, Vladimir Putin. Another massive missile attack on Kyiv. This time, the children's hospital, Okmatdet, was hit. Austria has supported this center for many years and many departments. This is an institution which cares for babies and children in need. The Russian attack is pure terror, said Benko. U.S. Ambassador Bridget Brink has expressed condolences for those whose closest relatives and friends have been affected by the deadly strikes and said she is shocked and saddened by reports of casualties. Martin Jaeger, the German ambassador to Ukraine, called the attack a war against the civilian population. This is what Russia's readiness for negotiations and its desire for peace looks like, he noted. Lithuanian Foreign Affairs Minister Baiba Braze called Putin a butcher and war criminal. The butcher in Kremlin is attacking children, mothers, doctors, teachers. War criminal, charged by the International Criminal Court, kills innocents for his pleasure. Anyone supporting or enabling this is responsible too, she said. For his part, Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lipavsky, commenting on the attack, dubbed those who dream of peace with Putin useful idiots. While useful idiots dream of peace with Putin, he sends missiles to a children's hospital. I am now heading to Washington for the NATO summit, where I will advocate for a long-term strategy to deter Russia. We must not retreat in the face of aggression, he wrote. Meanwhile, White House National Security Council member Michael Carpenter said that the Russian missile attack on the Okmatdet Children's Hospital in Kyiv warrants a thorough investigation by bodies that study war crimes and crimes against humanity. <laughs> А я сейчас утром был, то мужиками вот этот вот, вот первый взрыв, блядь, у меня аж окна все появились, блядь. Черкасы, блядь. Потом еще один взрыв. Но я на порог как раз вышел покурить. Нефтебаза колоет. 
Ну, летит еще один дрон.